Hey folks, so I want to give you a brief overview of um, how to create your paper airplane folding, like at least how to get it started. Um, so there's a template up here. You can also create your own template. Um, so let's just call this template two. And um, remember the way you need to start, you need to make your sheet of paper that you're going to draw on. So we're going to use a frame for that. And really all you have to do is um, choose A4. That's an eight and a half by 11. Up here in the top right, you're able to flip it to landscape underneath of our uh, context menu. And now we can actually start drawing. Now, if you're like me, I like to lock the frame so I can't move it at all. And I'm also a little OCD, so I like to make it so that it's at our origin zero comma zero. I just did that up in the context menu up here. Once we have that, you can start to draw your rectangles for your, um, your piece of paper. So, uh, I just drew a random uh, rectangle. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it width 85 and I'm going to make it height 110. So it's as close to um, the proportions of uh, a, a sheet of paper, just like our 8.5 by 11 we made right here. Um, I'm just using pixels, so roughly getting it uh, in proportion. Once you have that, um, we can start to edit the fill. So you could make it like a lighter fill if you want to, and we can add a stroke. Now for um, the sheet of paper, I like to just keep the outline uh, one. Um, you can make it a little bit thicker if you want to. Um, that's all we're going to do for right now. Now, if I wanted to name this, I can use my text tool. I just went up here and drag the box for the text tool. And I can type in zero and align that, kind of get it where I want it to be so it's nice and close. And if I copy this and paste it, so command C, command V, now I can drag over what I copied. I can name this step one. So if I actually can double click in there, I can get it to be one. And now I can start editing in um, some lines. So remember, there's two ways we can make lines. One is with the pen tool. The other simplest way for you to do it is with the line tool. So we'll start with the line tool. And I can draw a line pretty much anywhere. It doesn't really matter where you put it right now, as long as it's as long as you want it to be. Because if we select this line and the sheet of paper, we can use our centering tools up here. Um, and I just aligned it horizontally. So it's, it's right smack dab down the center. Now, this is a line that I want to have dashed because it's gonna show where we're making a fold. Um, if you go under the three dots right here, you can under dashes input a number. I really like four. Um, so I'm gonna click that in there. And now I have a dash line. Finally, and then I'll, I'll let you um, get into some more complex shapes in, in a moment. Um, you can use the pen tool to create an arrow. So I like doing my point A, point B and drag, so I can have like a little arc there. And then my point C, point C and kind of drag, it's not gonna look that pretty. I can hit escape, 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 escape. Do I like this? Yeah, I do like it. I'm just gonna click into it and drag some stuff around a little bit. Now I want to actually put an arrow right here. So the way to do that, I just click this edge. I've double clicked this line so I can do it again. I can try to double click. I have this anchor right here. And then underneath of the dots here, I can change the cap and I'm gonna make it a triangle arrow. Um, now I have uh, my arrow. Um, uh, to show direction of the fold, so I'm making that like hot dog style fold. And if I wanted to here, I could make it a little thicker just so it pops more on the paper. It looks like it's above the, the sheet of paper. The other thing I can do, I can go back into my dash line, make it let's say 0.5, and now I have some line weight that line weight that I'm working with to make it so that this um, has some depth and you can have some order to what's going on on the page. It doesn't look all like one big line. So um, that's how to get started. What I'm going to show you in a second is uh, how to make your complex shape.